anxiously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. When 
Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Erstmal ein herzlich willkommen hier auf meinem Kanal zur dritten Episode Life is Strange Before the Storm. Die Hölle ist leer. Ja, jetzt lernen wir erstmal ein bisschen die Geschichte kennen von den beiden, von dem Vater und der ja, richtigen Mutter. Und jetzt sehen wir uns das erstmal weiter an. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel? It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her, and I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Also, ähm, wir haben ja jetzt gesehen, was damals passierte. Die beiden haben sich kennengelernt, haben sich verliebt. Dann wurde sie schwanger. Ähm, hat natürlich Rachel bekommen. 
und wurde dann drogenabhängig, hat sich Heroin gespritzt und ähm, ja, sie konnte es gerade nicht. <lacht> das Kopf geschüttelt mir gerade irgendwie ein bisschen, macht mich nervös. Ähm, ja, sie konnte nicht sich für das Familienleben entscheiden und ihr waren die Drogen wichtiger und hat mh, die Familie in Stich gelassen und nun will sie ihre Tochter wiedersehen nach der langen Zeit, nach 15 Jahren und ich finde, es ist die richtige Mutter und jeder macht Scheiße im Leben und sie war halt noch sehr jung und war halt noch nicht so bereit für das alles und ich würde sagen, um, warum nicht? Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel. I think I need to lie down. natürlich hart, das zu hören. Dass sie... I, I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Ja. Dass ähm, die leibliche Mutter all die Jahre sich nicht mehr um die Tochter geschert hat, ihr, ihr das Geld wichtiger war, um das alles geheim zu halten. Also der Rachel ein falsches Familienbild äh, abzugeben, zu zeigen. Und nun, äh, äh, ja, ist sie natürlich, ähm, ist natürlich scheiße zu hören, dass ihre Mutter ihr nicht wichtig war. Ich meine, das ist, das ist, ein, das ist oft so. Oh Mann. Ich werde erstmal mit der Mutter reden. <lacht> erstmal ansehen. Can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay. Rose. Kann ich irgendwie helfen? Tut mir leid wegen heute Abend. Do you need any help with Anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway. Door to the left of the fridge. Na klar. Mach ich doch glatt. Ähm. Ah hier. Ja. T-Shirt. Um. Hey, cool graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this. T-Shirt nehme ich auch mit. Mrs. Amber, could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. Thanks. Diesmal kommt ihr Gedanke nicht, es zu klauen. <lacht> Und den Pace natürlich. <lacht> yep. Um, here you go. Thank you. 
I'm really quite glad that you're here. Thanks. But why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. Super seltsam. Hier geht's besser als Rachel. Um. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago. And now... Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past. Including my own role in hiding the truth. James hat gelogen. Sarah hat das Geld vorgezogen. Nee. Ich glaube, der James hat schon die Wahrheit gesagt. Ich nehme das. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. <sighs> Rachel took that pretty hard. I should see if she's okay. Ja, ich gehe auch gleich hin, aber das habe ich mir hier ja schon alles angeguckt, außer den kaputten Tisch. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. Ja, dann kaufen sie sich einen neuen. <lacht> hm. Scherben bringen noch Glück. Benutzen. Die Tempest Show feels so far away now. This is so painful to look at. Ich glaube, das habe ich schon letztes Mal angeguckt. Genau wie das. Und das auch. Aber ja, warte mal, die Akte. Vielleicht sagt sie was anderes dazu. Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew. Then again, so is Frank. Hm. Ja, die sagt was anderes. Ähm. Ich rede mal mit dem James. Uh, um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. Eigentlich verstehe ich ihn auch. Er will seine Tochter, seine Familie halt schützen vor ihr. Oder was heißt vor ihr? Aber ähm, vor das allen halt. Es gibt halt. Ich verstehe den den James. Ich verstehe die Mutter. Ich verstehe aber auch Rachel. Das ist äh, klar. Das auf jeden Fall. Man muss aber zusammen sich setzen und irgendwie was, damit jeder bereden, wie man das machen könnte, vielleicht in Begleitung oder so, die Sarah kennenlernen oder was ich. Ich meine, das ist ja ihre Mutter, sie, sie, 
Sie hatten recht, ihre Mutter, leibliche Mutter kennenzulernen. Heißt ja nicht, dass sie sie gleich mag oder sowas. Aber ich denke, Rachel ähm, wird äh, es die Rose schon wie eine Mutter. Das wird sich so schnell nicht ändern. Sollte Rachel das nicht entscheiden, was fürchten sie? Wird Sarah tun? Ich mach mal Kreis. I, I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Das werde ich. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Ja, das ist für Chloe jetzt aber ohne doppelte Belastung. Also, sie hat ja selber mit ihren Familiengeschichten hier zu tun. Jetzt noch das mit ähm, Rachel. Äh, sie muss ja selber erstmal lernen, mit ihren Familiensachen umzugehen. <lacht> 